Hello, my name is Tony Acello and I'm the Senior Forester with Jefferson County Natural Resources. In 1986, Jefferson County Open Space purchased several parcels of land to create Meyer Ranch Park here in Conifer, Colorado. This land is now part of the JCOS Park System, which includes over 56,000 acres that have been preserved and protected so that they can provide the healthy nature-based experiences that we value here in Jefferson County. The JCOS Natural Resources team is tasked with protecting these valuable resources to our county. The main reason for this project is the overcrowded and unhealthy condition of our forests here. Over a century of fire suppression has allowed every single seedling and sapling to continue to grow instead of being cleared out as the natural fire processes would have done. While these thick crowded forests might be what we're used to hiking through in this park, it's not natural and it's not what our wildlife and plant communities count on to thrive here. Because of these factors, we will be implementing around 32 acres of forest management in the park. To mimic ecological processes and restore the forest closer to its natural and more healthy state, we will remove up to 70% of the woody material in some areas. This is obviously a significant change in the forest structure and to the park experience itself in some areas. We know that some of the sections of trails that were once surrounded by thick and shady stands of interconnected conifers may now resemble an open meadow with scattered pockets of trees. The shape and size of these changes are important and natural, even if they are a bit surprising at first. We will also be leaving lots of dead material on the ground and even some dead trees standing in the treated areas. This standing woody material provides habitat and food sources for many birds, and the dead material on the ground will provide microhabitats that support an array of animal populations and help retain moisture to assist in vegetation growth. I'm Anthony Massaro. I'm a senior natural resources specialist in the plant ecology department here at Jefferson County Open Space. Before the natural resources team creates a forest management plan, a systematic inventory of the overstory and understory vegetation is conducted. This included a detailed according of the grass, forb, shrub, and tree components. After processing these data, we can assess the current forest conditions in the area and locate where forest treatments will not only mitigate wildfire risk, but will also improve forest structure and enhance understory health and diversity. We understand that loud equipment, changes in our routines, and sudden shifts in the look and feel of a park that we love can be a bit jarring. However, these short-term impacts to our visitor experience will be more than worth the medium and long-term benefits that we will experience with this project. One thing that we're very excited about is how quickly we expect Aspen to establish and dominate in some areas of treatment. The areas that are cleared the most and may look the most bare at first are actually expected to quickly establish with robust populations of young aspen. In areas that don't quickly establish with aspen seedlings, the removal of trees will still increase sunlight that makes it to the forest floor and will allow numerous native species of plants to establish and thrive. These plants can struggle in the overcrowded darkness of the current stands and creating thinned canopies or even entire clearings can have significant positive impacts on the understory vegetation. I'm Chelsea Beebe, the Natural Resources Senior Specialist at Jefferson County Open Space. The wildlife team has been working closely with our forestry team to ensure that we're doing our best to avoid any negative impacts to the wildlife in Meyer Ranch and are very hopeful that these forestry treatments will actually benefit a whole suite of species in a lot of different ways. In general, wildlife really thrive in a complex forest mosaic, which means that there's gonna be different age classes of trees, different size openings within the forest, and also different density of the trees within those forestry treatment areas. Some of the things that we'll do to ensure that we're not having negative effects on wildlife during the forestry treatments is to take the time to look for certain features that are valuable to wildlife. Things such as snags and old decadent trees, that can provide nesting opportunities for owls. We'll ensure that those trees are not removed during our forestry treatments. We also will attempt to avoid forestry treatments during the nesting bird season, which is approximately April to August. When we can't do that for various reasons, we'll have a biologist on site flagging trees that look important and identifying nests and providing an appropriate buffer to avoid disturbance from forestry equipment after this project is complete, follow-up surveys will occur periodically to monitor how forest structure has changed and how the understory is recovering from forest management. 
If native vegetation is not responding as expected, methods such as seeding and planting will be used to assist in the restoration. And finally, this project is part of a region-wide effort to reduce the risk of catastrophic wildfires. This project will significantly reduce the available fuels and should provide many benefits to the community related to wildfire resilience. Open canopies with well-spaced trees can slow the spread of fire if it does reach the canopy. And the reduction of fuels means the fire will likely burn less hot, allowing for more of the important vegetation to survive and reestablish quickly after a fire. This reestablishment of vegetation is an incredibly important aspect of controlling erosion after a wildfire. And with Turkey Creek flowing just downhill of this project, protecting this valuable water resource will be an important result of this project. As part of a larger effort to reduce the risk of catastrophic wildfire to this park and to our county as a whole, this project has the support of our partners and leaders within the community. My name is Kelly McConaughey and I am the Wildfire Mitigation Specialist for both Inner Canyon and Elk Creek Fire Protection Districts. This project and other forest management in the area will help contribute to community safety as well as our mitigation efforts by reducing catastrophic wildfire risk. Conifer Wildland Division supports Jeffco Open Space in their forest management and this project at Meyer Ranch Park. My name is Emma Brokel. I'm a forester with the Colorado State Forest Service in the Golden Field Office. The Colorado State Forest Service supports this forestry project and many others in the area and has awarded Jefferson County a State Fire Assistance Grant over $48,000 to help fund this project's successful implementation. Cross-boundary collaborations like this are essential in protecting our community resources. Community safety is paramount and this forest management project will help reduce the chances and the impacts of catastrophic wildfires. While no treatment can completely eliminate the risks of fire, thinnings and fuel breaks can give additional time to our residents and first responders in the crucial first stages of a wildfire. Not only will this project help protect the human residents of our county from devastating wildfire, but it will also benefit the incredible plants and wildlife that make our county so special. Open space parks provide incredible nature-based experiences for our community, and projects like this one are an important part of stewarding and improving those parks and your experiences. This project is a great example of leveraging county dollars for a maximum community benefit. By collaborating with the Colorado State Forest Service, the funding for this work is being matched dollar for dollar, and a local private company is implementing the work, helping to return local tax dollars directly back into the community. As chair of the Jefferson County Wildfire Commission, I'm proud to support responsible forest management projects like this one. We're investing in forest thinning and restoration. It's an important part of our county efforts to help protect our community from the risks of catastrophic fire. Thank you for your time today. If you'd like more information, please visit our website. And if you still have questions, feel free to give me a call.